we're good now. All right. Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to another edition of Carollo's Corner and the Mike Wilson Show. Mike, say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is episode two. We're uh, rolling right along this season. Mike, I'm going to get right into it, man. The time is now. The preseason's over. The talk is over. The hype is over. It's time to go. Uh, what's the vibe over there? Let's get right into this. Vibe, the vibe, the, sorry, the vibe is very good. The kids are working hard. Um, good week of practice uh, started with today. So we're ready to go. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Um, your opponent, uh, I'm going to use a little Star Wars reference. Is a little reference is a little bit beyond the outer rim. Cedar Grove, far away from uh, our little galaxy down here in South Jersey. Uh, I know a little bit about them. I know they had won a state championship a few years ago. So the program is reputable. They're a perennial contender. Uh, I wouldn't call them elite right now, but every year things change. Could you tell us about this year's Cedar Grove team that you were facing in 72 hours, less than 72 hours? Well, I mean, Joe, like you said, uh, tradition builds that program. They've won a lot of games, a lot of sectional titles. Um, they won eight games last year. It was a playoff team. They return a, uh, return a lot of talented starters. they got a very good quarterback, a couple good receivers to go with that. Um, it's going to be a great opening game for us and a very good challenge. Awesome. That's just, uh, you know, what we're looking for. Obviously, uh, for those of you that don't know, this is going to be at the third. This is the fourth annual Battle at the Beach, I believe. How do you feel about playing at the Battle at the Beach? This event, I remember, I just want to give some background. Uh, two mutual friends of ours, John Emmel and Mike McCain, had started this. And they've done a phenomenal job. I have to say that, guys, if you're out there listening, great job. This thing has turned into something big, and I think bigger than anybody thought. And I get, and to be a part of it, it's I don't know if I saw this coming a couple of years ago, but it's a big deal. Now you got schools from out of state, you got schools from Florida coming here. This thing is huge. You're in it. You got to be one of just a handful of teams. I'm like, what do you, how do you feel about that? I'm honored to play in a showcase. I mean, like I said, Mike and John have done a great job. Um, it's a great showcase weekend, three great days of football. We open up the second day, Friday morning at EHT. We're looking forward to it. And we're honored to be part of it. But it's like anything else. It's a game for us, and we're going to treat it as so. Right. Any other games on that schedule that uh, have your attention? I know they're all pretty big. Any, any other two or three that really grab you? Well, I think got IMG and Bergen Catholic. I mean, sure. I think that's huge in itself. Um, always rooting for my guys at Mainland. They, I mean, they open up Atlantic City, so that should be another good one. I mean, I think every game is compelling. Yeah, one uh, couple of them got my attention. We I just, just saw the preseason Mean 15 today brought to you by the Courier Post. It's preseason. You can't look too much into preseason rankings. I've never been a – I'm not a big fan of rankings to begin with, let alone preseason, because they're based on a previous year. Uh, just who happens to be one and two. Millville and Holy Spirit, they happen to play Friday night, 730. Uh, it's definite – I mean, are they the two best teams? I don't know, but they're two of the best. I think we can both agree on that. That definitely gets my attention there. And uh, you have you know, mainland Atlantic City, Cedar Creek playing uh, east side. Should be another good one. Uh, any of those game? Any other game that gets your attention there? I mean, I mean, honestly, Joe, I think they're all great games. I'm just focused on our game. I mean, I like right. I said, like outside looking in, I don't pay attention to newspapers. I don't pay attention to preseason rankings. I'm just worried about what we do every day. Right. So, what do you need to do to beat this team? Like I said, I don't know. You know, we don't get a lot of coverage here in South Jersey on uh, out of the area teams. I mean, you know, in Ocean County, we have the Asbury Park Press and. They do a great job as well. But you go up north, I don't hear much. Uh, this particular Cedar Grove team, what do you guys have to do to beat them? What is, you know, strengths versus weaknesses? Well, number one game? is we got to play our brand of football, which is mistake free football. We got to play good fundamental football on both sides of the ball. Um, we got to play all three phases. We got good special teams. We got to maybe get a field goal, block a punt, something like that. We got to um, create some turnovers. We got to drive the ball and score on offense, obviously. Right. Um, and again, I mean, again, they throw the ball a lot, Joe. I mean, they are air raid. So you think Mike Leach, Hal Mummy, they will throw the ball everywhere. So we got to slow down their passing game. Um, we got to control the ball, long sustained drives on our part. And we just got to get the field off third downs. And if we do that and we want to win the turnover battle, we'll be okay. All right, great. I'm just going to ask you, you mentioned a couple of names. Uh, again, we don't get much coverage. Could you tell me about a couple of their players that, you know, are to look out for who we should all be paying attention to? Well, number nine, their quarterback, he's a senior re returning starter. I think he threw for like 2,400 yards last year, Joe. Wow. Um, they have a talented receiver, Nick Russo, number 83. Um, I believe he's about 6'2", uh, 215 or something like that. Wow. They got number one, 
Um, Jackson Maurice, very talented receiver. He had about 600 yards receiving last year. So they have some talented skill kids. Um, like I said, they throw the rock and they do it very well. All right, awesome. Yeah, it should be a good game. Like I said, I know they're a perennial power. You guys are uh, becoming a staple here in South Jersey Group 1, which uh, leads me to the big thing everybody's been waiting for. The group classifications came out today. Any surprises? Any thing that got your attention? I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I didn't even look at them. You didn't look at them? Okay. Nope. I've been so focused on okay. what we're doing, getting ready for practice tomorrow. I had no, I knew they, they could be out by today, but I really did not even look. Right. So when we get off of here, I'm going to, I'll probably take a yeah, go take a look. For those of you that don't know, I guess the biggest news is the last year's King of the Mountain mainland has dropped down to group three, which I think it's good. It's that it's from a storyline uh, point of view, from a storyline outlook. That's going to be awesome. You know, like uh, you know, like a boxer dropping to a different weight class, Correct. whole new set of opponents. And I know they have Delcy later this year, and uh, they might be playing twice. And I think, uh, you know, a couple other things. I'm trying to think. Cinnaminson moved up to three, I believe, and Pleasant to Pleasant. Well, Group Three has a whole new look. I'll let everybody take a look at that on their own. Um, any final thoughts before the game, Mike? Uh, I, I, mean, I can't wait to play a football game. It's been a long, good summer. I mean, a lot of summer stuff between June and July, first two weeks of camp. So it's going to be nice to get back in the game routine and looking for a great matchup. All right, awesome. So we're going to see you again in one week. Who do you play next week? I don't have your schedule in front of me. Uh, it's, it's our home opener. I mean, we're technically the home team this week, but we'll be we'll be back at Shalik on Friday, September sixth, uh, against Cumberland Regional. Your arch rival. What a way to get you. you talk, talk about out of the frying pan into the fire. We're we're not wasting any time this year. This is great. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Well, Mike, I want to thank you for coming on the show, guys. You can catch this. At it's it's all about scores.com. Uh, click on the Corollo's Corner. Look for episode two of the Mike Wilson Show. Mike, best of luck to you on Friday morning. And I will be talking to you soon. Joe, thank you very all much. Right, thank you, Mike. Good night, everyone. Everybody. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Thanks, Joe.